Hey, I was driving down for doing a photo shoot, uh, Silver Lake Flats up there, and I thought I'd come down to uh, the gorgeous Table Fork, where a lot of locals come and hang out with their families and go fishing. Is that what you do? That's what we do. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Steve. Steve? Where are you from? From Orem. Orem. And who's this? I'm Chris. Chris. I'm, I'm from Linden. Linden, this is your boy? Yep, this is Sawyer. Cool, Sawyer. How you doing? Good. Good. So there's been a little bit of talk and some uh, communications about possibly getting a gondola down this canyon. Have you heard about that? No. Um, it's kind of been hit up by different people, different mayors here and there. And the plan is to help with recreation, help with uh, the population increase in the valley. And there's, there's talk about a gondola actually coming right where the horse transfer station is. You know that is just up the road? Yep. Mm -hmm. And they want to take it clear over to Snowbird, the Twin Peaks. And so there's talk about that going on. And of course to do that, you gotta widen the road and do different things like that to get people up here. And so I thought I would just uh, ask you your feelings about that. If, if they were to develop this canyon, put a tram here, go over to Snowbird. For skiing. For skiing or for yeah. whatever, whoever wants well, to ride I've it. Been, I've been, they've been talking about that a long time down to Mary Ellen Gulch and things like that. Exactly, yeah. And, uh, uh, this canyon's too narrow to actually get a lot of more traffic on it. The river on one side and the cliffs on the it's other? It's just, <laughs> it's just been that way for, I've been doing this for 45 years up here. Yeah. And, uh, it's always been on a Saturday or a Sunday treacherous. Yeah. <laughs> but like days like today, sometimes there's not too, too no, many people here. No, there's nobody up here today. It's just on those but, busy uh, weekends. Just, just busy time. If they start uh, moving people in through there and then having with all the avalanches they have and and the rock slides and the rivers even backed up and flooded yeah so okay I'm just saying it's a it's a, it would be a real press to put a bigger road through there yeah how do you feel about a, a tram with towers cables just all the way up to the top of Twin Peaks from down here well if they're going to use the uh, horse transfer area, that's just going to open that area up and they'll have to... I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> let, let them ski where they want to ski, on the other side. Yeah, a lot of resorts already here. Yeah. Cool. How's it going? Did you catch anything? No. You got a knot. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> Again? And what are your feelings, real quick? Just. Do you have any thoughts on the whole thing? If this was to get developed a little bit and bring people up here and get a gondola, or does it really matter to you? Um, I haven't heard of it. Um, you know, I, I I prefer balanced use. You know, I think I think it make it makes sense to have a balanced use up here. I don't mind the ATVs and things. Yeah. Um, as long as they're not destructive and, and they stay on their trails and things, I think that's good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This canyon is narrow. I don't know how you. If you bring the people in on the gondola, I don't know. I don't. I guess I'd have to know more about it to really understand what they're proposing. Um, and that's kind of the key. We're just trying to get people's thoughts, if they even know about, it, educate people on what might be on the plan, so they can kind of voice their opinions and see what they think. Yeah. So I'll tell you where to get that information. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah.